How much should you tip your barber or your stylist? Well, honestly, there's so many people that are so set on, oh, I only give 10% or I give 15% or I give 20%. You can base it off of that, sure. But in my experience as a professional for over 25 years, I've had some of the best tippers and the worst tippers that I've ever experienced. I even have had people who don't even tip me at all, okay, which is r extremely rare, but I've had people who don't even tip me, okay? And, you know, part of me is like, dude, or whoever it is, don't, you know, like, are you serious? And I'm like, that Porsche that you're driving, uh, you really can't tip me? Like, <laughs> so it really comes down to, you can do it a few ways. One, the service level. And how do you feel about yourself? Now, <clears throat> there are people out there, there are professionals that are charging $15 for a haircut. Granted, you may be in there getting your service done for 15 or 20 minutes, but you know, you're paying them $20 for a haircut, whether it's a barber or whatever it is, and you know, they're only making, say, maybe 50% of that. That's $10, okay? Maybe they're making that in 15, 20 minutes, but in reality, I mean, they could be making 20, 30, $40 an hour. I mean, when you add it up, that's great. But, you know, it takes quite a bit of time to do a 15, you know, 15 minutes, you're not gonna get a lot done, in my opinion. It's a rush job, it could come out awful, you just never know. So let's just say the average person is booking an appointment for a half an hour, and they're charging, let's just say, $40 for a haircut service, right? And let's just make it even across the board. Male or female, okay, usually women, their hair, it's a lot more expensive for a women's haircut, but let's just say it's $40 for a haircut, you're going in and they're spending a half an hour with you and it's a 50-50 cut. That stylist is getting $20 per half an hour, so $40 in an hour's time, which that's their cut. That's actually really, really good money. Then if you tip them on top of that, let's just say $10 for the haircut, that's $60, okay? Now, mind you, they're getting taxed on it, but if that person is booked for eight hours a day, okay, that's quite a bit of money that that individual could be making in one day. But just forget about that whole thing. Think about the experience that you're getting, all right? If that person is spending 45 minutes on your haircut, if they're spending, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and you literally get the best haircut like every single time and you feel amazing about yourself, sometimes that's priceless. To me, that could even be more value than the haircut itself when you walk out. And especially if you have money. If you have money, don't, be, don't skip out and be cheap. Just tip the person what they deserve, okay? Stop doing the formulas of, oh, I should only give 10%. And well, I'm giving them a $5 tip because their haircut was $25. Dude, give them $20, give them $10. If you have the money and you feel great about yourself, then do it. I've, like I said, I've experienced things where I've charged like, you know, say $75 for a men's haircut and I'll get a $50 tip or $150 or $200 for a woman's haircut and they're tipping me $100. Like I've been very, very lucky and, and blessed and, and in my experiences, you know, people can be very, 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 very generous. But there's also times where I've charged people $350 for a job and they're giving me $20. And I'm like, are you kidding, really? You know, I've spent all this time busting my butt. You know, yeah, you're paying 300 and something dollars, which is fine, but does that really balance out for like three hours worth of work or like three and a half hours of me dedicating my time to you? Yes, again, I'm getting paid for that, but like $20, $10? Like, really? You know, so the point is, if you don't have any money, literally tell that stylist or that barber, look, I appreciate your efforts. 
you work so hard on my hair, it looks incredible. I don't, I just have enough money to pay you. Like, I don't even have any money to tip you. I'll bake, like the next time I come in, I'll bake cookies for you. I'll bring you, like something I'll do for you as gratitude. I just want you to know up front, I don't want you to hate me when I don't tip you, but this is the reason why I can't tip you. Let us know, because trust me, if you're the type of person who does not tip your professional, we're not gonna wanna deal with you. <laughs> I hate to say it, but like, you know, sometimes tips are how people end up making money. That's how they can pay bills. Say like, tips are a big deal. You go to a restaurant and that waiter or waitress, they're getting paid $2 an hour. They, they rely on tips. A bartender, you know, $1.80 an hour, $2 an hour, but they're relying on their tips as their, their real main source of inco income. So when it comes to tipping your professional, Yes, you can always do, okay, what's 15% times $40 times $20, okay, $5 tip is fair. I mean, yes, you could do that, obviously. But nowadays, the way things are going, the way people are, you know, it's, it's tough on people. They're slaving away, you know, eight hours, nine hours a day, cutting heads all day. If you have the money, if you can afford it, just be a little more generous, all right? If you can't afford it, that's fine, just communicate with them. You don't have to do that. But trust me, as a professional who's dealt with thousands of clients over the years, we and, we, and I've talked about it with other professionals, the minute you aren't tipping us or you're like really skipping out on like $2, really? I just spent like an hour and a half on your hair and you're giving, and like they're tipping me $5. We go and we talk about this. You're not on our priority list. I hate to say it. So, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just how it is, okay? I try to tip very generously whenever I can uh, because I just feel like you just take care of people, okay? I've, one thing I've learned from a young age and from very, very successful people, always take care of somebody. If you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. Take care of somebody whenever you can. They're always gonna remember you. I've done that my whole life and they never forget you, trust me. So let me know your thoughts on this topic. Are you taking care of people? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.